As InDesign kind of specializes in documents with multi-page layouts, it is important that you understand terms related to multi-page layouts. I'll use this newsletter to go through some of these terms and definitions. A title usually appears at the top of a document. Body text is the text we see with a default font and size and is the most prevalent for articles and stories within the document. Headers and footers, as is the case in programs like Microsoft Word, appear above and below the main document. A block quote is an isolated quote for emphasis, like the one we see here, and it is usually in its own text frame. A caption is usually tied to an image or similar object and is used to describe the image or object. Those are some of the text terms. Some pieces of a document you may see include a table of contents, such as the one tucked in here on page one, and or an index, which you often see as a reference point in the back of a longer document, such as a book. I do have a small index on the last page here for demonstration purposes. Some page and publishing terms you need to know for the exam include page size, which can be seen through clicking file and then document setup. Page orientation dictates whether a page displays its portrait or landscape. Facing pages are part of a spread. As we see here with pages two and three, of the newsletter. Bleed is the distance beyond the margins of a page and is used when you want to make sure a background prints on an entire page. Slug area is the area in which you can leave instructions for a commercial printer. Trim marks will show on the corners of a printed page. A gutter is the distance between the left edge and the left margin. This area is left alone so that a page can be bound as in part of a book. Margins are the spaces around the edge of a page. A frame is an object that holds either another object, like an image, or text. Finally, InDesign documents often use master pages. Master pages serve as an overall background item for one or more pages within a document. This allows for items such as this footer to be consistent throughout a publication.